Sleeping Beauty. Today we have a book named Sleeping Beauty Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land of magic and enchantment, there lived a beautiful princess named Aurora. She was known throughout the kingdom for her kindness, grace, and her heartwarming smile. Her hair was as golden as the sun, her eyes as blue as the sky, and her laughter as melodious as a songbird. Aurora's story began in a grand palace, where she was born to a loving king and queen. Her arrival brought immense joy to the kingdom, and the king and queen celebrated her birth with a grand feast. As the kingdom rejoiced, three good fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, bestowed their blessings upon the little princess. Flora, with her red gown and her magical wand, gave Aurora the gift of beauty. Fauna, in her green attire, bestowed the gift of song upon her. Meriwether, in her blue robe, wanted to bless Aurora with a gift too, but before she could finish, an evil sorceress named Maleficent appeared. Furious that she had not been invited to the celebration, she placed a curse on the young princess. Maleficent declared that on Aurora's sixteenth birthday, she would prick her finger on a spinning wheel spindle and fall into a deep sleep from which she could only be awakened by true love's kiss. The kingdom was filled with sorrow, and the good fairies were determined to protect the princess from the curse. To keep Aurora safe, they took her to a hidden cottage in the woods, where she was given a new name, Briar Road. There she lived a simple life with the fairies as her guardians, and she was told nothing of her true identity or the curse that hung over her. Years passed, and Aurora grew into a lovely young girl. She had a deep love for the forest and all its creatures. She would sing and dance with the animals, and they, in turn, became her dearest friend. On the eve of her sixteenth birthday, the fairies decided it was time to reveal the truth to Aurora. They took her back to the palace, where her heartwarming smile and her beauty captivated everyone who saw her. But as the evening wore on, Aurora was drawn to an old spinning wheel she found in a dark, hidden room. Despite the fairy's warnings, she pricked her finger on the spindle and fell into a deep, enchanted sleep, just as Maleficent had foretold. The king and queen, filled with grief, placed Aurora on a bed of flowers and wept for their beloved daughter. The good fairies knew that Aurora could only be awakened by true love's kiss, and they set out to find the prince who could break the curse. Prince Philip, a brave and kind-hearted young man, was the one who had met Aurora in the forest and fallen in love with her as Briar Rose. With the fairies' guidance, Prince Philip battled through thorns, defeated Maleficent in her fearsome dragon form, and reached Aurora's side. With a gentle kiss, he awakened the princess from her deep slumber, and her eyes sparkled with love as she looked at the prince. The kingdom rejoiced, and Aurora and Prince Philip were married in a grand and joyous ceremony. The prince had proven that true love could conquer any curse, and the two of them ruled the kingdom with kindness and grace. And so, my dear child, that is the end of the story of Sleeping Beauty. It reminds us that love and courage can overcome even the darkest of curses. Now close your eyes and let your dreams carry you to a world of magic and enchantment. Good night, and may your dreams be as beautiful as Aurora's heart. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.